Hey friends, Jeremiah and I are on our way to Aniston today. Um, we are going to a Bantam chicken show. We're going to meet up with the gang from Cog Hill Farm. I am swapping Mary Carl, one of my hook-billed ducks. Y'all know I have uh, all-boy hook-billed ducks and she has a girl. Uh, and she has some extra pigeons that she wants to send home with me. Uh, and so we're going to go and do that. We have a uh, possible bad weather later in the day. Um, so we're going to have to go and hurry up and get that done. Friends, we are almost here to our destination. We are in Anniston, Alabama, out in Calhoun County, the uh, Bynum Munford area. We are meeting some friends here. We are going to a chicken show. Y'all know I love going to chicken shows. I'm going to turn right here. So we're going to pull in here and see what we can see. We're at the Calhoun County Agri Center. We are just so excited, so happy to be here. I'm gonna pull through these gates and find us a parking spot. These are some of the little uh, Japanese bantams, the long tails. Uh, Y'all saw in Jason's video on the Cockhill Farm Channel uh, how he went on and on about how cute these guys are. Yeah. I think she's too old to lay. Her legs are too long. Well, they're not supposed to be long. No. I need her. I have a male. You do? <laughs> you know I love the ducks. Look how pretty they are. I like that one. I have a butterscotch male. Unfortunately, our female, we've lost her. I like Look at her, she's wearing more jewelry than Catherine does. I really like that lemon blue. There's a beautiful silver blue, blue lace, I love her. Now they have a large portion of the show hall really felt because they were actually doing the judging. And they didn't want a lot of spectators just walking around and see those yellow ropes there. Uh, that lady, all decked out in her beautiful cowboy boots and those blue shorts, she was the one that was doing the judging uh, for a lot of the Bantams. Uh, she was just doing an excellent job. She's judging the feather-legged Bantams. There was another guy that was doing the, the clean-legged Bantams, the, the Bantams that doesn't, don't have feathers on their feet. So she's judging the silkies and the cushions and everything. She's taking each one out of the cage, checking them over for any disqualification. Uh, you know, she's looking at the silkies, she's making sure they have five toes on their feet, the proper color skin and ear lobes. Making sure that the cushions don't have five toes on their feet because of course that would be a disqualification. Doing an excellent job. Whew, y'all, we got a tornado warning, so we've got to hurry up and get ourselves happy and a little self home. We just got blowed off the road, y'all. Leave early because of the tornadoes that were coming. But we uh, well, we stopped at Walmart. That's for su Sunday school tomorrow. But uh, we took a duck for Mary Carl, and she brought us some pigeons. So they're in this uh, cabbage box. So I'm going to take them down, and put them in a in a cage right now. Now you have seen these pigeons before. These are some of the powder pigeons. Uh, you can see that guy in the back, he's all puffed up, pouting. They inflate their crops with air. Uh, just amazing, cool creatures. But you have seen these on the Cod Hill Farms videos. There are four of them total. And they are just amazing and cool. And we're so happy and so pleased to have these. Thank you, Mary Carl. You're amazing and wonderful. Now, I was with her. Uh, Catherine and I were at the same bird show, chicken show, uh, in Clinton, Alabama, right down the road from where they now live, uh, a couple months ago. I was there when they bought these birds, and I know the person they bought them from. 
And so they've had them at their farm for a while now. So I'm going to consider that they have already been quarantined. I know where they came from. I know where they've been. That's not to say that they couldn't possibly have some kind of yucky stuff. But I'm going to leave them here in this cage um, for a couple days. Uh, only because it is raining. Uh, like I said, there's tornado warnings all day long here. Um, we haven't had any real damage. There's some stuff blown over in the yard, but that's not a big problem. But in a couple days when it quits raining, I'm going to move these into an aviary with some pheasants, possibly with those ringneck pheasants that I got from Mary Carl. Um, it is very possible that these are all four boys. She said that they have not paired up and that they were fighting and causing some problems with her fantail pigeons and other pigeons that she has. Um, that won't be an issue here. They'll be kept away from the other pigeons. They'll have an aviary to themselves, uh, just them and some pheasants. But I am, I'm as pleased as punch to have these. I, I, I love the color. I love the body shape. I love pigeons. Friends, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. I say that in every video, but it's true. I really, really do love you all. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. You're a blessing to me and my family. If you haven't already, given give us a like, give us a thumbs up, uh, hit that bell for notifications, and be sure that you are subscribed. Bye-bye.